ever shot a shot that went out the gate. Say Bruce. Oh, my God. Good one. Well, normally, you guys, be shaming yeah. yourself, yeah. when the Lakers win, we normally talk all things LeBron. But you know what? He is not the story right now because James Harden scored only 16 points last night as the Rockets fell to 3-6 and six in a blowout loss to the Lakers. Houston has lost four of their last five, and Harden seems to be ramping up the pressure on the team to get him out after the game Harden said the Rockets are just not good enough he then went on to say quote this situation is crazy it's something that I don't think can be fixed Shannon should the Rockets take the best deal on the table for Harden right now they shouldn't take the best deal that's on the table but James Harden has made it abundantly clear Skip, we had heard reports and guys reporting, insiders have been reporting that James Harden wants to be traded, and he's made it clear. This was the very first time publicly that James Harden made it abundantly clear, I want to be out. Skip, James Harden's not even trying. He's not even pretending that he's playing hard. First of all, the way he showed up, the way he showed up late to camp, and then he showed up out of shape. Now, James Harden, with that body that you see, can drop 40, but he needs to drop 25, as in pounds. I agree. Skip, he doesn't even care. He's not even trying. He's not even pretending. This is the longest streak of 20 or under point game James Harden has had since 2011, 2012. When he was with OKC. He was the sixth man. Skip, think about this. His first game back after being away from camp, he drops 44 and 17 at the blink of an eye. And then he follows that up with a hot, another hot 30 point game. So we know James Harden, even in the condition that he's in, if he wants to, he can drop 30 on anybody every night. We've seen James Harden shoot 20 plus free, get 20 points in free throws. Mm -hmm. And now he's just milling around. Yep. Hey, you take it, John Wall. Hey, I'll pass it to you. I, I, I'm just going to be standing over here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make it so uncomfortable for everybody yep. that you're going to have no choice. But Skip, the thing is, is that while he's made it abundantly clear to the uh, Rockets he wants out, He's killing the value in which they can get to it because teams just sitting back like, <laughs> okay, that's another pick I get to keep in my pocket. That's another pick I get to keep. That's a solid player I get to keep on my roster that I'm not going to give up. The problem that, he, that they have, Skip, is that James Harden is under contract, but not this just this year. Yep. He has two more years on his deal. So theoretically, no, Skip, we can, we can play hardball. Skip, I believe. If James Harden says, you know what, has a team meeting, they can be a player. You can't tell me that Christian Woods isn't better than Clint because they gave up. The Rockets gave up to get Chris Paul in the swap for Russ. And you think about what the Lakers gave up to get AD. Are you, is someone trying to tell me James Harden is incomparable as far as skill set as those guys? Now, mm -hmm. I believe AD is a better all-around player than James Harden. But I, it's hard for me to find if James Harden is motivated, a better offensive player than all of basketball. And I'm talking about Kevin Durant, LeBron, Steph. You name the offensive player. When that guy's motivated to play, can't nobody see it. He revolutionized the game. But right now, Skip, he's on interested in playing yep and if John Wall said bro after nine after nine games you ready to jump off the bridge he said no mm -hmm. I was ready to jump off the bridge before the first game yep he was okay. uninterested and so skip dude they're gonna have to do they gotta do something sooner rather than later skip I was like maybe the all-star game they might be mm -mm, I don't mm -hmm. think it's gonna make it till then okay <laughs> so in a few minutes on this show, we're going to talk about another Houston superstar mm -hmm. named Deshaun Watson. But he plays in this other league called the National Football, Football League. League. And it's very different on that side of the fence versus this side of the fence. Because on your side of the <laughs> fence, you being in the NFL <laughs> Hall of Fame, the players do, do not run the show. No. In the NBA, the players dictate. Yes. They are in control and in command. Right. And I believe James Harden has just seized command of his situation. And he finally made his first public declaration of, what was the last line? It's something that I don't think can be fixed. Boom. That's it. So he said, get me out of here now. now. And his play last night, I agree with you, that game was over in about a minute <laughs> because you could just see he didn't want to be playing out there. And he rubbed off on everybody else. He did. The body language of the Rockets as a team was abominable. It was an embarrassment for the National Basketball Association. And your team rolled as it should have rolled. 
but it was hard not to roll against a team that was not competitive. And that Rockets team is much better than it played because to your point, I, I like Christian Wood. He had 18 and eight last right. night. I still am a fan of DeMarcus Cousins. They're trying to let him play his way back into shape. Right. I'm a fan of John Wall. I, 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 hey, I look at this team and I still see Eric Gordon and yes. I see PJ and I see McLemore and I can go down the, the list. This is a team that can't win the West, but could could be the four seed. It yes. could be in the middle of the Western Conference playoff picture and could win a round of the playoffs. So my point is this. Is, is James Harden not the shrewdest operator we've ever seen from the perimeter? Is there anybody more wily, more sly from the perimeter than no. James Harden? Who, who can get to the free throw line and, and get three free throws better than anybody <laughs> in the history of basketball? It's this guy. He, he can get free throws, Skip. Nobody's led the league in free, in free no. throws attempted and made like James Harden over the last okay. five years okay. in the history. So I believe he just pulled off a genius plot to play his way or eat his way out of Houston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's eating his way out also. You see him in the warm-up line? Oh. He like he came straight from the Dennis Buffet. Hey, seriously, he's got a <laughs> gut. I mean, he's got a flat-out gut. James Harden okay. had the all-you-can-eat grand slam like four, okay. five times All yesterday. Right, so I'm going to remind everybody what you went through. He came out and he wanted to even fat. He wanted to validate his value for his trade partners. So what did he do in the first game? We came in on Monday and raved about it because I believe it was a Saturday night yeah, at Portland yep. and it went to overtime. Yep. And as you point out, he scored 44 points in that game. I thought it was about as great as I've ever seen him play. And he also had, as you said, 17 assists. And it went to the buzzer and they lost by two to Portland right. because C.J. McCollum just went off. Right. Okay. So we sat back and said, wow. That was spectacular. That was special. Maybe these Rockets, maybe he's going to be happy with yes, the Rockets, yes, right? Yes, And then he comes back at Denver the next game and scores 34. And then at home against Sacramento, he scored 33. Mm -hmm. And then he decided to take the back. To, it wasn't exactly back to back. They had a night in between, but they had to play Sacramento again. Right. And he said, I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm, uh, I'm not going to play that <laughs> yeah, game. Good. And here we went. Right with almost quit James Harden. And I agree with you. He put his sneaker across <laughs> the line, and he hasn't quite touched it down. But it's as close to quitting as you can get without right. quitting. So here's what he's averaged over his last five games. This is James freaking Harden Correct. we're talking about. He's averaged 17 points. 17 points? Five rebounds. He has averaged 10 assists. So you got to give him that because he's still – but it's, it's all like I don't care assists where you do it. You do yeah. it, you do it. But Skip, we've seen him average 29 and 10 assists, 29 mm -hmm. and 11 assists. Oh, so definitely. we know he can facilitate the ball, but the scoring is where he hurts okay. you. So over the last five games, he is shooting 38% from the floor. It's horrendously bad. Yes. He's shooting 26% from three. Horrendous, that's 10 of 39. Ah, really? He's averaging five free throws a game. He, he averages 10 for his career. Okay, so for he, career. Okay, so he's not even trying to get to the free throw. No. They're just happening by accident that he shoots five a game. Quit, 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 almost quit, right? So he's saying, I'm done, Houston. You, you, you're going to have to move me. Because you know what happened, Skip? He came back and he did those stat lines like you said in the first three games. He's like, hold on. I'm playing too hard. They're going to think I want to be here. Yeah. Let me back this thing up to okay, let y'all know. He did need to show them, I'm, I can still right, do right. this. Because if you didn't do the first couple of games, right. people might be saying, wait a second, right. have you lost it completely? So he validated value. I can still do this even fast. Yes. Okay, so you, you come get me and I'll show you spectacular. Right. Okay, so now, what do we know? Well, there are obviously two potential trade destinations at the top of the priority list. He's, he's listed other teams. But obviously, it's Nets and it's Sixers. Okay, so the Nets, we're, we're about to talk about the Kyrie issue. So they got an issue with Kyrie Irving. Would, would oh, they I even... no longer want Kyrie. Okay. Give me Jared Allen, give me Karis LeVert. Okay, but, but would...
sky. 